Welcome to Catch Up, our blog covering the latest tech trends and insights for the seafood industry. I'm Eric Anotam, the co-founder and CEO of This Fish, and I'll be your host today. So this episode of Catch Up is the second in our AI guide series in which we survey the use of software and artificial intelligence in the seafood industry. In today's episode, we look at 79 software platforms and AI-enabled apps used in wild capture fisheries. So technology has been used to monitor fisheries for a long, long time, about 40 years in fact. Satellite tracking of fishing vessels started in 1982, and in 1999, video cameras were used for the very first time on board fishing vessels to electronically monitor activity. But for more than a decade after that, there really wasn't much innovation going on. It was an era of small-scale pilots. It wasn't until the advent of the iPhone and growing cloud computing that we started to see new software companies being launched dedicated to fisheries. Yet this gross growth was really nothing compared to aquaculture. This chart here compares the age of software companies in fisheries and aquaculture. And what you can see is an explosion of companies in the aquaculture sector. It's innovating at more than twice the rate as wild capture fisheries. And there's a lot more AI in aquaculture. In fisheries, only about 16% of software is using some type of AI. And most of it is really computer vision uh, to monitor uh, fishing vessels uh, at sea using video cameras. So compare that to aquaculture, where about 70% of tech providers are using some kind of AI. Of course, innovation is pretty expensive. Uh, and that's where venture capital comes in. According to Crunchbase, Fishery software has seen only really a small, small fraction of private equity investment compared to aquaculture, about $19 million compared to a whopping $293 million for fish farms. And this funding gap has been partly made up by grants from U.S. private foundations such as Walton, Moore, Packard, and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. They funded about $27 million in fisheries, monitoring, and technical assistance uh, over the years. So no surprise that government and NGOs are major backers of about a quarter of the software being used in the market for fisheries. And a lot of the innovation is really being pioneered in places like Canada, the United States, and New Zealand, where governments are mandating electronic monitoring and electronic logbooks. So you can see in this infographic here that most of the technology that's being used is electronic monitoring, uh, electronic logbooks, fleet management. Uh, electronic monitoring with video cameras is about a quarter of the technology that's being uh, used today. But I think it's going to grow as more and more governments start to mandate the use of this technology. And most of this technology is really being at least being developed initially for industrial or small or excuse me, mid-size vessels. And while AI uh, may be in its infancy right now, it could be really a game changer for scaling electronic monitoring on hundreds of thousands of vessels worldwide. So if you'd like to learn why I think AI and computer vision are going to be central to scaling electronic monitoring, you can read my article online. Simply scan this QR code or visit our blog at this.fish slash blog. And of course, you can always sign up for our monthly catch up newsletter at this.fish slash catch up. So thanks for catching up with me and we'll see you next time.